GM StarkNet fam, we just entered a new StarkNet era thanks to the new update V0.12. The transaction speed has jumped dramatically, going from two transactions to a peak of 54 transactions per second. But below the surface, StarkNet is crafting a new update that will bring even more significant changes to the network. The thing is, no one else is covering it yet. Let's dive right in. Right now, a big issue that StarkNet is facing is that there are no costs for failed transactions. It means people can send incorrect transactions with no consequences. This creates two major issues. The first issue is that bots can send hundreds of transactions and clog up the network. They can create as many transactions as they want because failed transactions are free. For example, when trying to earn money through arbitrage opportunities on an automated market maker like MySwap or JediSwap, a bot may send a transaction with a high expected return. If the transaction succeeds, let's say another user had previously moved the price with a big swap, then the bot earns money. If not, then the transaction fails and the bot will just try again until the transaction gets approved without having to pay anything for the failed transaction. The second issue is that bad actors can mount a malicious DOS attack that floods the sequencer with spam transactions. This drains computation capacity while leaving legitimate transactions clogged up in the mempool. A mempool, if you didn't know, is the holding bay that stores transactions before they are taken by the sequencer and added to blocks. So why hasn't StarkNet managed to get rid of all those unwanted transactions, you ask? Because the first version of Cairo, StarkNet's smart contract language, is incapable of proving reverted transactions natively. Kiro Zero contains no separating layer between the user code and what is being proven and users can basically write code that is unprovable. But don't worry, Anons. V0.12.1, the next stage of the quantum leap upgrade, will charge a fee on rejected transactions. This will deter anyone who wishes to disrupt the network or has been sloppy in their submission. At first, the inclusion of failed transactions will operate on a trusted basis, meaning they will not be proved. However, in version 0.15, StarkNet will introduce the ability to prove failed transactions, transitioning the process to a trustless framework. This means failed transactions will be part of the state and they will be proved and verified on layer one. To quote StarkNet's recent tweet, rejected transactions sometimes represent more than 50% of the work of the sequencer, and those transactions are not necessarily malicious. So yes, with that next upgrade, planned to be deployed on mainnet in three weeks, will come an even better user experience. If you want to experience a StarkNet wallet that has the power to become as simple as Apple Pay while offering new levels of security and preserving full self-custody for users, try out Bravos now by clicking on the link in the description below and on the pinned comment. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed learning about StarkNet's upcoming upgrade. The future of crypto is layer two, and StartNet is leading the way to become the best rollup on Ethereum. Keep exploring, keep learning, and until next time, take care.